Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be doing a comparison between these two smartwatches. So in my humble opinion, these are the best two smartwatches of 2022. A slight correction here is that these are the best to budget smartwatches of 2022. In fact, the Amazfit GTR4 brings so much punch with it that it pretty much goes against the premiums of 2022. While the Huawei Watch Fit 2 costs like a very budget smartwatches, but brings almost as much bang for the buck as the GTR4. But hey, we'll get into the details as we get into this review. Let's do it. So the way we'll be doing this comparison is first we'll be looking at their designs. Obviously, one is squarish, one is circular. Then we'll talk about the displays because you will be surprised to know that the display on the GTL4, which is newer, more expensive, actually has a low resolution than on the Huawei. But we'll get into that in just a minute. And then after we cover off the display, we'll start talking about the features and functions because both of these watches pack a punch. Anyways, let's kick off with the designs. Now you don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that yes, they are different. The GTR4 is circular. The Watch Fit 2 is well, rectangular, squarish. Yep, so more sharp corners on the Watch Fit 2, while we've got the smooth, round, classic design on the GTR 4. Now, if we talk about the Watch Fit 2 first, so this is an aluminium case. So, yeah, it will last you and it will wear well. So I've had this watch for about half a year now. I'm wearing it on and off and I'm yet to find any scratches like this is really good construction right here now on the underneath though it's not as spectacular it's sort of dull gray I think it's also aluminium because it is quite chilly but or maybe it's plastic I'm just not sure but it just looks well rather cheap let's put it that way uh, if we talk about the straps well they're integrated into the watch case for that sporty look a bit of the Apple look really uh, the good thing is of course is that the strap on the watch fit 2 is the classic watch type clasp so it's really easy to put on and it's really easy to take off now I really don't like those tuck and pin clasps this is the easiest one you can get and it's the best now the only problem I see with the watch fit 2 is that the clasp is actually plastic and that's poor that's poor form but then again if we think about the price 130 quid or 150 bucks for the watch fit 2 so maybe not that bad now let's talk about the design of the GTR 4 so here yeah this watch looks box it looks money it looks premium it looks class now this is an aluminium alloy watch case it's got two buttons on the side one actually is a rotatable crown and it's got the red highlighting uh, just on the side here the actual crown has these little treads in it and looks like a sporty tire tread look like it's awesome there's also a second button which is sort of flat against the case down the bottom here and this is your functional button so it helps you get around the watch easier now what you will find is that both of these watches are actually rather slim so if we look at them well this one the watch fit 2 is 10.8 millimeters thick while the gtl4 is just 10.6 millimeters so 0.2 millimeter change or difference that's not much at all but of course it's all in the form factor if we do look at the strap on the gtl4 well it's not integrated into the actual watch case no it's done like a classic watch it's got lugs which thankfully are metal as well so you do feel like this is going to last you a ton of years which is absolutely great the strap it's silicon it actually feels like a very nice TPU rubber strap rather than silicon because it's just a bit too wide and a bit too thick now if we look at the back of the GTL4 
you will see that yeah it just looks a bit more premium so uh, the actual underside is black glossy plastic which looks nice but where the LEDs actually emit light onto your skin to measure and monitor your heart rate that portion is glass and it's quite a big slab of glass here so yes it does look more premium it does look like there has been more thought and more premium gone into this smartwatch so in regards to the design the gtl4 wins hands down but then again the price is 200 quid or around the 250 buck mark what does that say well 120 quid 200 quid so this thing is actually 40 percent more expensive than the watch fit 2. anyways let's talk about the displays now well we do know that watches the classic watch types well usually they're circular of course of course they're rectangular watches they're square watches there are even triangular watches but most commonly they are sort of roundish well with smart watches we uh, present different information it's not just the time that you're looking at in a smartwatch you want to see as much information as possible on these beautiful AMOLED displays and by the way both smartwatches feature AMOLED displays both have very deep blacks lots of contrast the colors are very bright here but then on the circular display well yeah the watch case might look great but really it is becoming quite awkward to use all of that space and all of those smudged corners or the cut corners uh, that effectively on a rectangular screen it's just easier because you've got more useful space so if we talk about the sizes of these displays the watch fit 2 gets a 1.75 inch display that is huge now with the gtr4 you get 1.43 inches now for a circular display that's also huge but 1.75 over 1.43 well that's like an uplift of about 20 percent and additionally to that it's much more useful space so in regards to the form factor efficiency wise i think the win goes to the watch fit too but in regards to the presentation and how it looks well i always prefer a circular face to a squarish face anyways now let's talk about the resolutions here so with the gtl4 you get 326 ppi we know this resolution it's been sort of the flagship slash premium for the last year or two now the watch fit 2 actually gets 336 ppi so this is massive even though there's more pixels on this display than on the gtr4 you actually get a higher resolution so another really interesting fact about the watch fit 2 so i think the win on the display size as well as resolution does go to the watch fit 2. if we talk about the displays how is it to use them well i find that the watch fit 2 has this amazing glass on here well first of all both of these surfaces well both of these surface glass is actually gorilla glass so both will save you from the daily wear and tear they won't scratch easily both of these displays have anti fingerprint coatings as well as anti glare coating so or anti reflective coatings so both of these displays they're kind of similar well they're comparable and when you run your finger on both of them yeah the gtr4 does feel well slightly more premium but then again this one the watch fit 2 is a bit more interesting because it feels like it's curved i'm not sure if it is but it does feel like it like it sort of goes around your wrist as it lies on top of it i don't know so it, it feels interesting and very nice and premium as well so i'd say the feeling on the glass that's probably an even result anyway so we've talked about the designs we've talked about the displays now let's get into the features and functions now i'm sure you don't want me standing out here and telling you all about the basic features and functions like timer stopwatch weather widget yada yada we know that these watches have that 
Let's talk about the serious stuff. Well, let's say it. Both get GPS. Five satellite networks on the Watch Fit 2, six satellite networks on the GTR 4. In boot storage, yep, both of them get it. 4GB, 4GB. Excellent. So when you do go out on those runs, cycles, and you don't want to take your phone with you, well, you've got media that can be stored on either watch, which is absolutely amazing. Now, microphones, yep, on both. Speakers, yep, on both once again. And that means that not only can you speak into the watch, you can actually listen to music or media out of the watch and if you're connected by bluetooth with your smartphone you can actually take bluetooth calls so let's say you're walking down the street you really don't want to be pulling out your phone there well just pick up the phone on your wrist and speak into the speaker if we talk about sound quality about these two watches now surprisingly the sound quality is better on the speaker of the watch fit too that is surprising but then again there's been so many surprises with the watch fit 2 that it's sort of surprising but not now the microphone though on the watch fit 2 it's mostly used for bluetooth calls well only used for bluetooth calls now with the gtr4 you get a mic because you can actually connect to Alexa. So that's your AI assistant. You can ask questions, you can record shopping lists, you can set up alarm calls, you can set up alarms. You also get an offline voice assistant. So you can speak into the watch and ask for a certain app to be opened to start a sports mode. You can do so much with both an AI assistant, so an online assistant, as well as offline. So the GTR4 in terms of the microphone and the speaker functionality wins. But then again, the speaker quality is slightly better on the Watch Fit 2. If we talk sport mode, so we know we've got inbuilt storage on both. We know that we have inbuilt GPS on both. But with the Watch Fit 2, you get 100 sport modes. With this bad boy, you get 154 sport modes eight auto recognized activities i think it's just six on the watch fit 2 but that's not it on the gtl4 you actually get 25 auto recognized strength activities what that means is that when you go to the gym to work out to do some strength exercises this watch here can actually auto recognize 25 of those activities so like the main ones so you got your squats uh, you got your dumbbell curls, you got your pull-ups, your push-ups, and it actually counts the reps. So this is really awesome. As we know, most smartwatches and sport watches alike do suffer with strength exercises. But the Watch Fit 2 does have some things to offer that the GTR 4 doesn't, and that is animated workouts so yes you can actually switch on animated workouts and have a look at how to perform a particular activity and it will guide you along the way so that is pretty cool you also get 13 preset running courses so if you want to start running you want to start training this thing will help you do it even if you're a rather advanced runner it's got the courses for you now you do get live broadcasts on both the watch fit 2 as well as the gtr4 meaning that while you're doing a particular sport mode the watch will push you more and tell you whoa you got to increase or decrease your pace you got to slow down it's going to tell you your times, your lap times. So it's going to keep you engaged in your sport activity. So again, live broadcast is quite innovative. And again, it's on both here. So you can connect your earbuds to both of these smartwatches. And if you don't have any earbuds in, that's fine because you do have an inbuilt speaker. Now, both of these watches, of course, do monitor your continuous stress monitoring they do your sleep monitoring so you do get your deep light and rem sleep monitored by these two smartwatches but aha uh -huh, if the huawei watch fit 2 actually uses true sleep technology which is actually pretty advanced and we know that true sleep was developed in conjunction with the harvard medical school so there is a bit of name to it there is a lot of credibility to it it does actually monitor your naps as long as they're over 30 minutes long so the sleep monitor is very accurate on the huawei 
So with the GTR 4, it's not just the deep light and REM sleep that it monitors. It also looks at your naps, but now, even if they're just 20 minutes long. So on the Watch Fit 2, it's 30 plus. On the GTR 4, it's 20 plus. Now my naps, well, I don't really take naps, but if I did, I Mm, I think they'd be on the shorter side. So again, it just seems that the GTR 4 is a bit more advanced. Now, the GTR 4 takes sleep to the next level. Not only does it look at your heart rate during your sleep, same as the Watch Fit 2, it also looks at your breathing quality. And that's the breathing rate as well as the breathing quality. So that is a step up in terms of sleep monitoring now both of these watches do offer continuous spo2 aka blood oxygen saturation i don't find much of a difference i've done i've tested them both on a finger pulse oximeter and both of them seem to be within about one to two percent off so nah, that looks about normal in the market so that's fine both do offer 24 7 heart rate monitoring but of course they do why else would you pay so much money for a smartwatch in regards to accuracy though well we were really impressed with the watch fit too but we were not just impressed we we're absolutely amazed by the accuracy on the amazfit gtr4 so this is pretty much it these are the coolest functions about these watches now the watch fit 2 is 130 quid 150 bucks 200 quid or 250 bucks which one is better well i would say functionality wise looks wise the gtr4 yeah it's better it's got the crown the rotatable crown it's got these amazing looks like wow it just looks super premium in regards to functionality well you get a bit more on the sleep side well you get your breathing rate and breathing quality during your sleep yeah that, that's nice uh, you get a bit more sport modes well actually 54 percent more sport modes which is great if you think about it um, you've got one extra satellite network here which is also it's it's, it's better fine but then it does cost 80 pounds or 100 bucks more that's a lot of money but really i think if we talk about the main things we know that both of these watches are very accurate in terms of heart rate accuracy gps accuracy is comparable haven't tested it on the gtr4 really good on the watch fit too so considering this one has an extra satellite network i would imagine it's even better but again they're both as good as they get you get inbuilt storage for your media for your music for your podcasts you've got inbuilt microphones as well as inbuilt speakers now you do get an offline assistant here as well as an online assistant that's awesome that's great but how often are you really going to use it what i do like on the watch fit 2 you get those animated workouts that's really cool stuff you also get the 13 running courses well you get live broadcasts on both so it seems to me like the watch fit 2 is just like a budget version of the gtr4 and now it's up to you to think well how much value are, re are you really going to get from the gtr4 maybe you should just save a bit of money and get yourself the watch fit 2 which is an amazing value budget smartwatch anyways thank you for watching this review and comparison of the huawei watch fit 2 as well as the amazfit gtr4 if you enjoyed it please drop me a like if you want to see more of the same you know what to do please hit the red subscribe button below the video and i'll see you in the next one